Hello, other girls and the French girls. It's Doll. Welcome back to my kitchen. Hey, on today's menu, we're gonna do a deck review of the next expansion. This is Forbidden Light. It's coming uh, about a week away, May fourth, Friday. So we get a lot of new cards to the game. Great. Are they good? Uh, we'll see. There's, of course, gonna be your good cards, your okay cards, and not so much. So let's look at all of them. Let's rate them. So, here's the rating system. If I give it a 5, it's a staple. It is going to be really good. You're going to put in all your decks that need it. So, it's going to be essential. Yeah. And there are going to be a few of those. 4 is like, this card's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy playing it. It definitely it's going to be easy to make. Because it's probably got some crazy stats or something. It's going to be fun. 3 is... Yeah, it's going to be fun, but probably not that great. So this is going to be like a maybe a good stage 2, like Tyranidum. Uh, maybe a weak basic GX. It's still going to be fun, okay, but not that great. 2. What's a 2? Two? 2 is like it probably could work, but I'm not going to like it. And I'm not going to... 1 is like you don't even touch this. So let us get started. That's a love talk. Let's break it down. All right. Let me bring it up on my side so I can see what you're seeing. Okay. Ooh, it got a little bigger. Here we go! Alolan Executor. Now take a look at this. 160 hit points. Is that a stage 2? No, it is a stage 1. What energy? You know something is up. 20 damage, 20 more for each type of basic energies. Fire, water. Oh! Setting that up and expand it. No, it's gonna be easy. I don't think uh, it's gonna be a five, but it's gonna be easy and fun to do. In standard three, still fun, a little bit harder because battle compressor. You got that expanded. That's why it'd be a four. But man, that damage for one energy, 120. It's great. It's compatible with max potion with Acerola, and this hit point is insane. So I like this card. I. Excited to make this work. Now, uh, Scatterbug. Hmm, 30 hit points. Oh, man, Buzzwell, but it has something very big. So, Plague. If you go second, hey, you can always, your opponent will always want to go first. You can choose to go second. If you go second, you can look for Spewpun, the Valiant. So, and if you go in second, you know, you're not going to die. You're not going to, Buzzwell's not going to punch you. Which means it, you get the final evolution and you get the other one. Yeah, this is for every scatterbug. So if you bridge it three of them, hey, you're gonna have... Well, you could be holding a lot of cards in your hands. So it is gonna be easy to set up. But what is the final product? Hmm, 130. Hey, Galissabot can't one-shot that. One energy. Ooh, 50. Ah, dang. That is a low base. With the choice, man, 80. And it poisons and sleeps. Poisons 90. And with Lorantis, that's 110. Now you got two with potential, but you still can't hit, you know, finish off those uh, 120 ones. But what they end up immediately does, they'll have a chance to attack, run away. Its numbers are a little low, but if the sleep works, that's good. And if they got some way to take the sleep, that's bad. It looks fun. Yeah, but this is somewhere it would be like a three. Yeah, it's going to be fun to do ones, but we're going to put it away and shelf it. That's, uh, that's Vivalian. Okay, so you're, yeah, it's the one thing that... Fun to do. Not gonna take it to the tournament. Here we go, Coco. This is a two. You wouldn't want to touch this. Hey, Glissabot, bam, gone. Okay, what else? Ooh, a Lolan. Well, no, no, don't skip Pheromos, Donald. What's do? Oh, a basic Ultra Beast. This is new. What you do? All right, so, ooh, Glissabot will one shot this. It has 90 base damage. Uh, with Choice Man, it's two hits. But that's a little too expensive to charge up. And if you've won prize, you're almost about to win. Hey, pretty good, but still slow. This is... I'm going to be safe, put it at two. I still wouldn't put into any of my grass decks there. It's still a little too long, a little too slow, and too obvious. So, and too easy to KO. Moving on, Lola Marowak. Oh, yeah. 120 hit points. All right, Galissa will get that, but two great attacks. Limbo, Limbo. This is awesome. It's free. You get two basic energies from your deck, where all your energies are at the start of the game. Put them onto your Pokemon any way you like. You can put this in any deck. I love 
energy acceleration. And not only that, it's got a good attack too. A Alolan Circle for every uh, Pokemon that has a Alolan in his name. And there's some good Alolan GX ones. It basically turns into a Zoroark GX. Yeah, same damage. Ooh. I want to give this a four. But it might be some more of three. I wouldn't expect to see this in competitive. But I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Making, uh, going back to visiting, making some older decks work so well with this. I like it. I'm going to give you a three. But four means I might take you to a tournament. Which, it's somewhere between there. To, to be safe, I'll give it a three. But my love level is really high on this one. So, what else? We're going to go for, uh, oh, Del Fox. <sighs> Stage two. I love free abilities. What does it do? Your opponent is burnt. Automatic 20. Flip a coin. Maybe 40 if they don't retreat. That's it. That's... I got the Sidui, man. Yeah, the Sidui you can squeeze anywhere. Uh, what will its attack? Let's see, 150? That's all right. 150! It needs one more damage. So you could give a Choice Band Knockout Buzz Wall. This is expensive, and the discard's expensive, too. Wouldn't give it three. It's actually... It's doable. But let's see, I won't have fun doing this one. I'm gonna give it a straight two right now. Sorry, the fun level on this one is... Let's see, there's a Delphox break, but it doesn't make a big difference on this one. We'll give it a two. All right, so Litleo. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Pyroar. 128 points? Yes, but the ability. Your opponents can't drag out, discards energy, do anything to it. This is already a four... This is a big level ability, however... It's going to be a four. So, uh, we didn't even take a look at the heart yet. <laughs> Sorry, I read this ahead of time. Uh, you have a DCE, you have a fire energy, 80 damage, and have a stadium called Lysander's Labs. What does that do? I'm going to explain it right here. It's a stadium while it's in play. Polka tools, choice man, float stones have no effect. Ah, okay. So that means you can't use Choice Man or anything on this if you use Lysander's Lab. So it seals up Poke Tools. Now when this is in effect, uh, the stadium's there, it does 140 total damage instead of 80. And if you don't want to use Lysander's Labs, you would use a Choice Man for a 2-hit. It's a 2-hit KO, but it's very safe. Your opponent can't do nothing about this. There is a Pyroar Break. That thing one-shots other Pokemon, even GX ones. And the fact that you can't stop it, Lysander, it now? I think I'm going to have a lot of fun. It probably isn't going to be meta, but my fun the fun level is going to be a three. Three is I like it. But I'm probably, well, you wouldn't, might not take a tournament. Okay, so here we go. We got Froakie and we got Frogadier. Which, when you evolve the Froakie, you take 20 free damage anywhere. That's good, you know there's a GX one, Greninja GX, where you evolve this, three damage, it's good old Golbat Crobat in the good old days, that's like three years ago or something. So, and I'm taking like 100, 230, Gardevoir GX level, weakness to grass, wow you're skipping there, because Galissopod's like, if this ever becomes popular, I'm gonna destroy, you better hide behind that Glaceon GX. So, it has Wind Shuriken, you know, when you evolve it 30 one time, and Hay Slash, two hit KO. And you may, if you if you know it's wounded, shuffle it all the back. Oh, that means the DCE, you have to evolve it all over again, which means more damage. Yeah, it looks fun to play. Uh, it has a GX attack where you do 130 once to the bench. Sounds little and very specific, but you are doing bench damage here. So, fun level is pretty good. Galissapod is going to make this deck probably unplayable. No, no, this is when you evolve the GX one. That's when they want to uh, use the Guzma, but... <sighs> Let's give it a four now, for now. Let's give it four, for four. Yeah, I think it is going to be uh, okay, decent, but, you know, it might be good. If Galissapod's super popular, it might be a three. You're going to have to really hide behind that Glaceon, so some, I'm in between with this one. For now, we'll give you four. You look pretty solid if Galissapod didn't exist. Yeah, all right. So next up, Clawitzer. This is a two. It's it, it requires you to do um, well. Set up over two turns. One, you do standby. Then your next attack is 120. And if you happen to stay alive, you only have 100 hit points. You can do 162 anywhere. Bench 
anywhere. You don't have enough hit points to keep on doing this. And let's see, is there any way to fix it? You get the break, but you know, it's too long. It's not really a one shot. Eh, let's see if you have a choice, man, and you hit up front, maybe, but still a two shot. And no, it's gonna be battle round two. All right, so Amora, fossil 160. Ooh, but you're a fossil. Let's take a look at your attacks. Frost wall 50 damage. During your opponent's next turn, their evolved Pokemon, which is popular, can't hurt you. Ooh, choice man, 80. That's still too long. Your opponent's gonna have time to figure out a counter. Blizzard burn. It needs 10 more damage still, but otherwise you can't knock out a buzz wall. You need 190 with a choice, man. So, this is about a two. I'm not gonna enjoy making it. Might end up doing it for it, but no, I'm not gonna enjoy making this one. Here we go, Ablog! Wow, 140 for a stage one? That's good. You get two shots here, and uh, your opponents can't play stadiums. Well, that could deny, say, uh, the new uh, Zygarde coming out, but it is totally good stats. You could try to make a deck out of it, but there's nothing special about it. It'd be around a two. There's no fun level with it. So, uh, moving on, Volcanion. <sighs> here is something big. It is a Prism Star, and you will want it in your water decks. Well, here's why. A build. Well, let's see. 160 hit points. That's good. Yeah. That's difficult to, for some Pokemon to one-shot one. A choice, man. Lightning weakness. Yes! Glissal Bind. You're not going to have to take care of this. And ability. Jet Geyser. Once during your turn, you can discard water energy. This is the, probably the best part. It makes it compatible with Aqua Patch. Yeah, with Aqua Patch, you want energies in your discard. This gives you a very reliable way to do that. The effect? I don't even really care about the effect. Your opponent can switch and must switch to active to one of the bench. It could be annoying, but they get to choose. And likely there's going to be a float stove, free retreat Pokemon somewhere. Yeah, but at least you get to attack that Pokemon. And it may come in handy, but it definitely makes Aqua Patch very reliable to use. So now you have... Aqua Patch Max Elixir! So that is the biggest part. Sonobomb! Also a good attack. Yeah, three energies, that's easy to Aqua Patch and Max Elixir out. You do a hundred, which you can fix with a choice band for a two shot. And it is 20 to all your opponent's bench. Making them weaker, making it easy for like Lapras to KO, for Nine Tails to KO. Five. Five for a Prism Star. It is a Prism Star. So, and they're not, well, there were some bad Prism Stars last time. This one's a good one. Very much so. So, here we go. Heliolisk. What do you do? Any damage, flip a coin, and they're paralyzed. Victini. Choice man. Oh, that's another one of those troll par paralysis one deck. We'll give it a three because I probably will enjoy playing it for one day and then I'll forget about it. So, all right. Moving on. Meowstic. This is two. You don't do enough damage, you wouldn't want to squeeze in right now. Yeah, unless there's a GX one. Uh, no, 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 no. Alright, so we're gonna go into uh, oh, one of my favorite Pokemons, but... Agislash. It has something that Beedrill has right now. The defending Pokemon, during their next turn, if they get attacked, it's automatically KO. However, you know, we've tried making decks out of it. It just doesn't work. Yeah, you just want to do a two shots. Stage two, and the damage here is not okay. It's it's okay. We're gonna give it a two. Yeah. There are other Agile Slashes though. I don't think they really combo with this. So moving on, we have Malamar. Oh yes, this is back. This used to be a Steel Pokemon. Well, a Steel Team had something very similar to this. Once during your turn, it has an ability. You get a Psychic Energy from your discard. Uh huh. And it goes to one of your bench Pokemon, not the front. That would be broken. It is a stage one, easy to get up, and it combos with a new card. And actually a lot of previous cards too. This is a very, very solid way to get energies. Yeah, very, very good. With this is definitely a five. It's gonna make a lot of deck happen. And it's gonna go straight to a meta deck with the new Ultra Necrozma. We'll talk about that in a bit. So, Skrelp. Oh no, you're in the one-shot Glissopod range. Glissopod like judges all these cards. And if you attack it, you can poison. And poisons one damage. Easy to KO. Twister. Very high chance to discard energies. Two coins. 
every head. I mean, you're at least gonna get one head. Oh, I hate coin flips. Coin flips are a nightmare. You can discard energy, but for Glissabon, like, you know, I only need one energy. So our DC, I'll just find another one and KO you. However, there is one prize card. If you can keep this going, say, with the help of Malamar, you could kind of pull it off. Damage with a choice man. Uh, you're probably gonna need that poison to do some help. I think I might enjoy it. We'll give it a three. I like the joke there, discount horsey, so between a two and a three. We're not we're not sure. Okay, so it's fun level. We'll give it a three for now. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, trick all okay. Moving on, Hoopa, this is a one. You wouldn't want to touch it. No. No, it's a waste of bench space. Cubone, this is just so you get the low of Marowak. Uh, let's see. Babarical, this is a weird one. If you're holding seven cards, you know, that doesn't work with most deck engines. Then they're paralyzed. Base damage is 30. I think I might have a way to make it work with how? With maybe Professor Sycamore? But you still need to keep on setting these up throughout the game. And uh, Guzmas, they'll get one shot at. Um, mm, I think it's gonna be two. It doesn't look like we're having a fun time with this one. I have an idea, I might try it, but the fun level right now is probably two. To get that permanent paralysis trick going. There, there are ways to get the damage, and, uh, no, we'll just leave it there. Here we go. Ooh, Tyranidum. 160 hit points. Fossil, ouch. But look at what they're giving this thing. Tyrannal Heart, free ability. If you, uh, have the same amount of Pokemons, or less, Hmm, that means I can't fill up my bench space. It does 60 more damage and takes 30 less. So now as hit points is like 190, then with 60 more damage, it's starting at 160. Perfect! Love that 150 junk that those other Pokemon have. 160. Because with a choice, man, you one shot a buzz wall. So, when that condition is met, you could also get this garden energy. This is with Carbink and with maybe a Lola, uh, the Lola Marowak. Fun to charge up. This is a three. I'm not seeing the tournamentness in this, but I see the funness in this. 160. Finally, keep giving us that number. So, um, uh, Halucha. Oh, one. You want to untouch this Zygarde? Mmm, this is a little tricky. Not every deck you face is a Ultra has an Ultra Beast. If your opponent has an Ultra Beast. It's common. It does 60 damage for one energy. You can't use weakness resistance here, but mm. so say a buzz wall with a choice man 90. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. With the strong energy, hey, that's two shot potential for one energy. And you also have the new DNC, which is 20 more damage. We'll talk about that in a bit. You can, with scaling with items, bring this to a one shot one energy. It's still conditional. However, there is potential, so we'll give it a three. We're gonna give it a three. It might have some niche use out there. Okay, moving on, Zygarde, the worm version, which is better than the dog version. 130, mm, two, okay. And the final attack, it's going straight to that. DCE, fighting energy. If you used up your GX, two hit KO. Pretty average, you could make it work with a Raichu. Nothing special about it, but, uh, I would put it in my decks if I wanted to counter Ninetales, counter Hoopas. It may be a nice one of. It does maybe have a niche. So we're going to give it a three. This guy uses. My opponent plays those annoying cards. I got a good one to quit card to take care of him. Well, you, know, you got the Dynana Master. Um, I do. I do. Still, this is, looks stronger. can benefit from uh, the fighting techs out there. It has a niche. We'll leave it there. What else? Saigar GX. Yeah, they made, there's a spoil combo about this. Here we go. Basic Pokemon 200. That's better than Boswell. Keep going. Cell Connector. 50 damage. Get two Fighting Energies from the discard. Easy way to do that. You got Stadium Man, Ultra Ball, Sycamore, and put it onto Zygar. Ah, this is DC compatible. It's still tough to set up, but you could do it. You can do it. You can do a bunch of damage too. And all right, you have a GX. Actually, yeah, let's get this over with. Lance Rath. 130 for this energies. It's enough, it's a two shot. It gets the job done. Judgment GX, 150. Next turn, GX Pokemon's EX can't hurt it. You have to, oh, I was about to say discard the stadium, but that's, wait, do you? 
Okay, that's gonna be some with the, the this trainer we'll talk about. So it has this GX, and being immune to the strongest cards in the game is great. You do a lot of damage too, and that with choice ban, and some help from this few next card here, and, and strong energy can get you a KO and protect you on the next turn. It looks scary. If the combo on this is reliable, it would be a five. I'm gonna give it a four for now because the combo does not look reliable, but still fun to pull off and it might be better friendly. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So it will hover if we, that's not reliable, we'll go to a three where it's gonna be a fun deck. So for safety, we're gonna give it a four. There seems to be a lot of help for it. I think it might be able to work for now. We'll see, we will see. So there's a big combo to it. I'm gonna try to skip to it right away. Where's Bonnie? Bonnie, there you are. So you, you can't read this text. So let's read this text over here. You have to discard a stadium. It's a supporter. One supporter. No Sycamore, no Cynthia that turn. During that turn, and only that turn only, Zygar can use his GX again, and you have to discard a stadium. So that is expensive. That's where the reliability comes in, where I was like, this might push it to a three instead of being a four. But you get to use the GX again. Very situational, and in deck building, I may have one or two of this. I have to think about how I can fix my card draws to make... No, I won't have a supporter here. I can't Guzma too, so... Like, you don't want a Guzma anyway, so... That's why. There's gonna be uh, reliability issues we have to ink out. So, that... You know, I have to talk about them before finishing Zygar. Let's go all the way to Zygar, scroll, and there we go. Alright, a five card. Ready and ready to read it! Princess Veil, ability, is a Prism Star Pokemon, so Prism Star Rule, it's gonna have a nice effect on it. When this is on your bench, all fighting Pokemons do 20 damage. That is big. That helps Buzzwall many fighting cards. Every fighting deck will want this card. Just like they want Prism Star, Sogaleo, Lunala, it is a 520 free damage, basic. You're gonna want this on all your fighting decks. Easy, we're just gonna move on. As an attack to 90 damage, heal 30 for all bench Pokemons. You gotta be desperate to be fighting with this. Is a bench center. So, uh, and it's a very good one. So, well, gotta pay for this one. So, next up we have, hey, Dawn like Rock, but not a GX. Ah, uh, it's that Galistopod range. Don't care even about weakness, and damage is low. Not gonna worry too much about it. Dangerous Rogue, hmm. Hey, the more bench Pokemon they have, the more damage it does. Can, can this be like a Hoopa counter? Yeah, she you got your Zygarde. It could be, it could be, but it depends on the bench. And you have to make a deal with Nine Tails too. Yeah, yeah, you could put one in in your Like It Rock decks just to deal with those weird cards. So we'll give it, yeah, we'll give it a three as a niche just to handle with those, but otherwise it'd be a two. Moving on, Pangoro! Oof! Ah, uh, this is like a two card. Here we go. The only thing it has about this is his Frenzy Punch. Hey, Glissabot won't KO you! Moving on 50 if, if it's wounded. Hmm, if I use a uh, Potal Stadium, I could put it to 100 and that really screws it up. Okay, never mind about the Glissabot thing. We're gonna move on for this. It means you do uh, 100 damage. It's a choice bit now, and both Pokemons are confused. Your Pokemon as well. It's too... It's gonna be a no fun. It is a two. Moving on, Evil Tall. Oh, come on. They gotta make you good, man. Here we go. 180 hit points. Okay, not 190, not Zygarde. Azor Life, 20 damage. Heal the same amount you did. Choice, man, you can heal 50. It's an early attack. We don't really care about that. Evil Sonic, 100 damage. Any poke deck can use this. Ooh, and it's not affected by weakness resistance. The big spar is for weakness. Resistance, what is resistance dark? Certain, uh... My brain is not working right now. Certain, I think. Let's just leave it at that. So, alright, so you can't abuse weakness though. But any deck can run it, but it's not enough to two hit major Pokemons. Uh, what were we talking about? Galissapod. Yeah, so it's gonna need like a Fury Belt Choice Span. Easy a KO. Moving on. GX. One energy. Death Count. If your opponent has four damage counters on it, which. How is going to be the biggest question. It's KO'd! Great! That's why it's one energy. How do you get four damage counters? There are two ways that come into mind right now. Tapu Coco. Bent 20 damage to everybody! 
do it twice? Yeah, now you can use our GX. All right, there's other ways to situate. Yeah, you need two applicants to that building, and uh, yeah, but it feels... I haven't thought of a place for this. We're moving with three for now. Yeah. So, that's gonna be... I wish they gave you more justice, my friend, but it's like... Yeah, they did give you really good justice with your EX version. So, GX, not so much. Guzzlord, ooh. Basic, non-GX uh, Ultra Base. So, what does your baby version do? Wow, that's expensive. You know, typical 160. <gasps> with Choice Man KO! Yeah, you can kill a Buzzwall if you didn't have weakness at all, but that's okay. But, if you, like, open up with six prize cards, four, two, wow, that has a lot of discard. I wanted to have fun and put you at three, but making this work feels like it's gonna be somewhere around two. You're gonna have a hard, hard, hard time pulling this off. And not decking myself out with that 10, 10 discard. That don't look that looks really hard to pull off. Moving on! Oh Florgis. What is this? Wonder gift. When you uh one string you turn flip a coin. Tails it doesn't work, does nothing. If heads, you put an item card from your discard on top of your deck. Not your hand where you can immediately play it. So that means I have to do something to grab that card? I'll give it a two. There's just too much holding this thing back. I know they're afraid of, you know, item recycling, but I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see the fun factor or what it could fit. I, it may exist. It may exist out there, but for now, we'll give it a two. Those. I hate coin flips. And it's going to my deck. Top of my deck. Okay, moving on. Moving on here. Sylveon. Oh, I love this first attack. So reading this in Japanese. No. When you you're, you get to look at your opponent's hand. It's compatible with Eevee. Which evolves immediately when you put a, a fairy energy. So good opening Pokemon. You look at their hand. Destroy a supporter. Hopefully a draw supporter. Hopefully they're holding one draw supporter. Then they're stuck. And you get to use it! Like Professor Sycamore, Cynthia, yeah! And... I don't know about the end though. And he's just doing that. So Professor Sycamore, yes! Yeah, Cynthia, yeah! Bridget, I guess so! Guzma! I, I guess so too! So, it does hit one of your opponent's valuable cards and a nice thing to open with. Yeah, I'll do that! Instead of the GX one, it's only worth one prize card, too, so if I get this, I like it. I like it. I'm gonna give it a three. I don't know if it's competitive, but it looks fun to pull up and use, put it to one of my decks. Uh, then then uh, this is a two. We're gonna skip it. That is also a two. And here, oh, or even ones. Xerneas! Oh, how about the other one? The other legendary of the Y. Ugh. 180. 190 is great. 180 is not that playable anymore. Run through! 20, 20. 20 to the front, 20 to the bench. That's eh, okay. We don't care. Uh, it's the first attack. Second attack, 120, two it KOs. How average. How average. But all right, moving on. Sanctuary. Move all damage counters from all your Pokemons and put them onto the active. So if you have Pokemon that are halfway dead, you've been retreating them carefully, you can use this GX to heal them all up and get a KO. If you successfully pull that off, it would be amazing. But the reliability, just from experience of, you know, trying to pull this off, it looks somewhere like a two. Yeah, it's gonna be very hard to pull off this one. Going against Buzzwall, probably have no chance. Buzzwall's one shutting all these things. It's like you're not gonna survive to use that sanctuary. It looks tough. It looks tough. And to charge yourself with energies over your main Pokemon, it's just the game is just. Uh, numbers are just outrageous these days, so I'm sorry Xerneas, you and the old tall Union guys didn't get it this time. So, uh, moving on, we got Gudra. Alright, Gudra. Hmm, Dragon 160. You got something cool, Buildy? When you attach a water energy onto this, it heals just 20. No, it's free. I guess I'll take it. What's the damage here? 80. And if it was healed, which means it was hurt, then it does 80 more damage. Ooh, that's the nice 160 number. Choice man? Yeah! You got the you got that buzz wall. 20 more damage somewhere. You might. Mm. And you need two different energies now. You need fairy and water. 
and you need that 20 bonus. You also need this to be wounded. Too many things you have to make this thing happy. This looks like a two. This could be uh, not so fun and really hard to do. All right, oh yeah, poster boy. Ultra the Necrozma. You should actually play that. Nah, Ultra the Necrozma. What do you do, 190? Bingo, that's what we're talking about. Photon Geyser. Discard all Psychic. Cost the metal and a Psychic. 80 more for each energy. So this is good scaling. Do you need two Psychics? Why? That's 160 plus the base 20 is 180. That's not enough to KO this, but with Choice Band, that's enough to KO Stage 1, Galissopod, Zorark. You add in another energy, everything's dead. That's expensive. So this is where people are saying Malamar. You can use Metagross GX2, but Malamar! And the Duskwing Necrozma. This is to move the Necrozma back to the bench easily. Take those free energies, move it back to the front. And that's how you pull it off. Of course, it's going to be smoother with the GX version, but... Well, GX version is tough to set up. So! You look like yours going to be somewhere in Metal Necrozma's level. We haven't finished talking about it, so Destructive Light has a GX. It only has two moves, which is weird, but Destructive Light... If... There are six or less total prizes. We start with 12. You can do 60 damage to all your opponent's Pokemon. This is like towards the end of the game, you could do 60 to everybody. Over a one-shot KO? It looks really specific. I don't see a situation popping up, but when I play test it, it might. It might. We're gonna give you four, because I know for sure I'm gonna have fun and this will be very doable. So, moving on, what else do we have here? And, well, the current EV exists, we don't ever use this. Current EV, you evolve instantly when you attach an energy. Instantaneous. This bundle bee is one of the worst bundle bees. We have a lot of, I'm sorry, diggers bees. We are really popular. Diggers bees, no, this is about a two card. Fur fro. No, this is the, uh, you wouldn't put this in your deck. Waste of bench space, deck space. Moving on, Noivern. Oh, Galissopod's gonna take this out. You know, you have a cool combo, though. You can fuse, and then the opponents can fuse. 140. We're looking for 160. It's not enough. Uh, it's gonna be about a two here. Uh, moving on, and the Porter. This is a weird one. If they got special energy, you can move it to another Pokemon and not discard it. I guess if you're using circuitry, you wanna make a Pokemon curse it. Yeah, you could do that. So, yay, circuitry decks. Other decks, not so much. And it was dead weight if they don't have any special energies. It's got a niche. We're gonna give it a three here. Fossil excavation. Search deck for it. Unidentified fossil. Fossil thinners. Yes. Put it into your hand. Then put it onto your bench. Out of the way. So, this, it's it has a niche. We're gonna give it a three. And it's gonna help set up that Tyranidom. Yeah, so we uh, we don't want to make the the, the Amora, but Tyranidum and you know, some of the other Pokemons might work. Definitely Tyranidum. Definitely, definitely. Anything else here? Here we go. Mystery Treasure. Budget Ultra Ball. For a Psychic and Dragon Pokemon, you only have to score one energy and put any uh, Dragon and Psychic in your hand. So it's a cheaper Ultra Ball. Only those two cards. Works for Tapu Lele. I'm starting, um, I think it'll be in Psychic decks. I'm gonna give it a five right now. I'm gonna give it a five for Psychic and Dragon decks. It saves a discard. It's, you know, there's no reason not to use it for those decks. Yeah, I'm not sure about, the, I don't know. I don't know, am I gonna, it won't get Banana Master. I got a Nest Ball for that, but I, I think it's gonna be in all those decks. Therefore, it's gonna be a five. So, moving on, like, there's no reason why you should not do it. It's one of those cards. Diantha! Actually, let's get through, lady. I know, I know, I know, you look for four basic energies. It costs a supporter, but you get four energies in your hand. It may combo, but you might lay lay for it. There's, there are some combos, but it's not consistent as just having a draw supporter. Mm, I, I don't think I'll ever use it in my decks. Diantha! If one of your fairies, only fairy decks can use it, get knocked out very specific you get two cards from the discard not your deck the discard cards after you use and put them into your hand there's a little too big specific to this it's not useful as having cynthia or n we're gonna give it a three because it has a niche it might even be a two i might never use it in my decks i'll give it a shot but 
consistency is just not there. Moving on, Judge, we got that Hal Lysander. Prism Star. Hello, old friend. Man with the plan. For every fire Pokemon you got, you get to permanently destroy one of your, or well, based on your fire Pokemons in play, up to six, put them into the lasso. <sighs> Very specific, does nothing to help you in the field. However, you know, your opponent does want to recycle things like DCE, evolution lines. I can see it having a purpose. But it's going to cost me a draw supporter where I could use draw support or Guzma. It's competing with that. I think I'll give you a three. It has a niche. I would want to play it on one of my free turns. But, you know, Guzma could win me the game. Other cards can give me what cards. It has a big competition even though it's a Prisma Star. So, we talked about Bonnie. We have Lysander Laos. I told you what that did. This isn't play. No Poke Tools work. That was just good like a tour mover. Hmm. Oh, we've got the right Lysander, man. Lysander's a three. He's got a niche. Uh, maybe I did do that. Lysander's Labs. Is this competitive? You know, disabling Choice Man preemptively. You know, it has a niche. It has a niche. Parallel City, though? Hmm. I rather have Parallel City all the time, but it has a niche, so we're gonna give it a three. It's got a purpose. You could use it somewhere, I see it, but uh, it's not that big. Moving on, a unit energy, another one! Fighting, let's see, fighting, dark, and fairy. I'll have to think on that. There are cards such as maybe Lycanroc, DC compatible ones between those two. Hoopa. Yeah, now Fighting X can run Hoopa with Lycanroc. Mm, as Sylveon, it goes on. We'll see. We'll see. It's like rainbow energy. All right. And then these are the full art versions. So we uh we're we're done with the first part. Second part. This isn't it yet. Ultra Force will be coming with the expansion, I believe. If it's not, we'll see. We will see. Yeah, it's coming with Forbidden Light. So uh, we know we know that. So let's take a look. Here we go. Yeah, it is. So some of these are gonna be reprints in our current expansion. So we're gonna take a look here. You see there is a, uh, let's see. No, we have to keep on moving now. All right, first of all, Obama Snow. This exists as water. Now, as it gives you bonus energies when you discard, when you evolve it once. Eats up tech space, works only once. Unlike, why couldn't you just be like a Malamar? I haven't used it yet. There's just better stuff than this. It's gonna, it might find a niche, just to be safe, I'll give it a 3. It is energy acceleration, but they're just better ones like Venusaur. And for the water to deck, it was uh, Aqua Patch. Uh, somewhere between a 2 and a 3. But because it's potential, we'll give it a 3 there. Here we go, moving on, the Heatran! We're not, we haven't even touched the metal one. This thing discards 2 energies to do a 2 shot. Other things do that easier. Moving on, uh, move, yeah, let's see. Water Palkia. The dragon one, you couldn't use Aqua Batch. Now, you can. The problem is, it'll only a two shot with Hydro Pressure. So Hydro Pressure, every water energy is 20 more damage. So with full this is loaded up, yeah, that is a two shot. You have the problem with Xerneas and an and, and Evil Tall. 180 hit point, big expensive GX, which is strong. Oh. It's not 160, it's 150. Shuffle all energies on your opponent's side back onto their deck. Which is great, but I think nowadays your opponent, you know, can recover for it. It's not discarded, it goes back into the deck. So, it's more playable. Mm, we'll give it a three, it's got... I can pull it off, it seems fun to pull up for one time. I'll give it, be nice to give it a three, but I don't see a big purpose for this one. Uh, moving on, we have... Don't care about Coronet. We have a... This kind of exists already. You can find the weaker version in the theme shop. It is Magnezone. It works for lightning Pokemon. Yeah! You have a substitute right now. It's great. It has a niche. We're going to give it a three there for those lightning decks. Uh, moving on. Circuitry. Baby circuitry. Hmm, what do you do? Ah, uh, Galissa Pot can take care of that. So, you know, 130 is the nice number to have these days. Cable Ram. Tough to charge this up, but for lightning, maybe not so much. If you have three, that's a weird, odd number. If you knock out two GX Pokemon, it's not gonna work, but automatic paralysis is strong, so. Oh, damn, I just. 
that's not even a two shot. You gotta help it. I don't see me putting this in my deck. I'm gonna give it a two. Or even a one. You wanna, so there's no fun factor in this one. So, Psychic Rotom. Hey, Buzzwall, you gone for the right deck. It has niche. It's a three, it's a fun deck. I know where I will be revisiting that Rotom deck soon because now you can hit lots of elements and do really good damage. Uh, get one shots too. Yeah, we'll go back to expand it for that one. Ooxy, Mexprit, and uh, Azelf. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. Ooxy, Memory Skip. 30 damage, pick one of your opponent's attack. Buzzle's big attack, yeah. And they can't use it. It's 60 hit points. Most was like, okay, I'll use my first attack, use strong energy, the antsy. It's only a 60 hit points. Hmm. Yeah, and the opponent can retreat and go around that. Yeah, probably about two there. But hey, if you have silence wave, you have silence wave ability. If a self plays here, all your opponents have no resistance, which is useless in most fights and helpful in the fights that matter. Yeah. Two deck space though, two bench space and deck space. No, Mind Splash. 20, but 70 total if Ooxie's on the bench, which is that previous card. Yeah, DCE 70 damage. I'd rather use Zorak. I think it's 70 hit points. And finally, his elf. Oh, 60. If you go second, you get to shuffle one of your opponent's Pokemon back. The one they're charging up. Yeah! Once. And now you wasted deck space and energy. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why, but... I wish you got some more love, you uh, love boy, adorable aliens. Moving on, Dullwing the Crossma, baby version. Oh, 130, two shot, discard, that's expensive. But hey, you got the new Malamar, you can pull it off. And the first attack, if you have at start of the game and this thing's wounded, it does have a rage effect, 20 damage per damage counter. So you're gonna have to be pretty wounded, like a Kalisopod level to pull it off. Ah, would I do this with my Mal Malamar? I don't know. Uh, it's hard. Give it a three, though. I think if I maybe use this to trade against a boss wall, yeah. I don't even need a... I could just use Beers or something. I'll give it a three. It seems like there might be a niche for it. You might not even see it. This one's a tough one. So, uh, we'll put safe because there is a nice, reliable combo for it. All right, well, it can be nice to you. Nagadenjo. Naganadel. Naganadel, got it. Naganadel, weird name. Here we go. Beast Ride, colorless. Any that can use this? For every Ultra Beast on the field, it does 20 damage. Zora Arc level, 120. And it's easy to fill up your bench with the Ultra Bees. Although with the Lele's and the Ultra Bees, Coconut Master, and you know one of those two is valuable. So let's say, you know, 100 damage? 100's okay. Choice Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very can battle with Ace Thrower, Max Potion, 210, Jet Tackle. And if you want, oh, that's cheap too. DCE and Fighting Energy. It's not affected by resistance and about a two shot. Can't get those nice 120 ones, but hey, well, the first attack. Oh, no, no, no. It's gonna have a little trouble there. So, that's okay. Still two shot. Here we go. Stinger GX. Wait, anybody can pull this off. Any deck element. Ooh, that gives a lot of option. Variety. Everybody shuffle surprise card. And now three cards. Everybody now has three cards. So, hey, at the start of the game, if you pull this off, Sudden death! Everybody has three prize cards they need to take. One GX and one normal. <gasps> but the problem is your opponent goes first or attacks after this. So you will be a little bit behind every time you do this. You gotta really prepare to finish the game quickly. However, with all these here, with the nice stats, I'm gonna give you at least a four, because I know you can be very fun and cool to pull off. So we'll be seeing what the big combo with this is. But yeah, yeah. High potential. Uh, okay, moving on. Oh, another Torterra. Grass was hard. Can fighting make this work? Hey. Well, at least you get one shot KO. She got strong energy. She got the antsy. Ugh, it's gonna be tough though. Four energies. It's between the two or the three. 
Two, two with that energy cost. But I think I could, might be able to pull it off. So we'll leave it there. Infernape! Hey, I'm a fighting Pokemon now. And I help burns. Any of you fighting Pokemon someone to burn? No, oh, man. We punch stuff. We don't sight things on fire. Uh, uh, what am I doing here? Okay, well, if you want to fight with your Infernape, you could have easy damage boost now. Yeah, strong energy. The antsy Prism Star. Yeah, now it could be your main fighter. At least Buzzwall. I'm sorry. Goose... At least, uh, it's good for Pokemon. I forgot Glissabot. At least Glissabot can take it. So if you want to fight with Infernape, you can pull it off. It's alright. It's it's a three. I'll try it for one time, then I'm going to throw it away. It seems a little fun to do. Oh. So, as a dragon right now, it's pretty good. Really good. But as a fighting, you get... Easy damage boost, strong energy, the antsy. You have the best fighting tree on your side now. Yeah, the dragon team just lost their best, the best tier yeah, to the fighting. The fighting's like, hey, you got such a great Pokemon, give it to me. This is a five. Well, it's a very big upgrade to the Garchomp, and Garchomp is pretty playable. So, uh, between a 4 to 5, for me, the jump from being a dragon to a fighting is a 5. You're gonna one-shot with this much, much easier. And you have new friends. Dragons don't have that many friends. Fighting do. They do have a lot of nice friends you can squeeze in. Yeah, so it's just gonna be better on the fighting side for sure. Uh, the weakness has changed a bit. The little boss like, ooh, that's easier to one-shot. You might have to do a mix, but uh, uh, fighting Garchomp sex will probably be more liable for more damage. So, moving on, moving on. Uh, let's see, Lucario, we're, that's already there. Toxicroak, this is a two. We got the second version. We don't ever use this. Uh, if a Pokemon gets knocked out, only a psychic Pokemon. You get to do two shot potential for this. Wasted deck space. Moving on, Baby Boss Wall. How do you compare it to the Big Boss Wall? 130. Yeah, Ghost of can get you. Sledgehammer. If your opponent has four prize cards, they took a GX, get a two shot. Might have a niche there. Yeah, you can one shot. Oh, nine tails, the ability immune ones. Yeah, there is. This is an easy condition to meet for sure. Uh, but if you don't, swing around. 100 base damage. You got your fighting energy, your DNC. It's a two shot, kind of expensive to do it. I feel like it might have a niche to get those anti GX Pokemons out. If you don't want to rely on your banana master, because you know fighting energies, it has it might have a very small niche. So we're gonna give it a three. We'll give it a three there. Empolian metal! You know, yep. Now with the water thing going on, it's easy to get this up. Mm. With water you have nine tails. What does steel give you? If a damage boost from that one anchor looking Pokemon that I can't think of. Ten damage for every I don't know. Uh uh. But there really isn't any big major attacks. Still, we'll give you a try. Three. Three. Uh, you work pretty well as water. So it's steel. I don't see that big of an upgrade. I lose energy acceleration, which is the big thing. Uh, moving on. Dialga as steel. Yeah, sure. You're okay as dragons. We don't really benefit from any steel attacks. So it's still the same thing. We tried it. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, it looks like a three here. You have a niche, you can squeeze it into a Necrozma, a Dome, something with that runs. Uh, the Magnet Zone, yeah. Dawnwing Necrozma, not Dawnwing, Dustmane, Dustmane, the Metal Necrozma. Moving on! Ooh, yes. 130 hit points. Very good number, keep going. One energy, Dawn Dagger. 60 damage, EX or GX Pokemons, anywhere. 60. If they are in the active, you have a choice, man. 90. One energy. I don't want to see this. If this thing starts up front, it's gonna hurt. Your GX Pokemon will not like it. Layla is like, oh no, I have 120 hit points left. Don't goosebump me. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. Let's take a look at its final attack. Three energies, 100. And if you, uh, your opponent has one prize, they're about to win. It does 200. Okay, nah, having a hundred base is okay, but you're really good for your one energy here. And if it might pull off, you might get a one-shot kill with this. 
three. Is a three. It has a niche. I would put it into my all my steel steel X. It's a good one. It's definitely the best one of all. I'll put it into my steel X. I'm gonna give it a four. I will put this into my steel deck. Arceus Prism Star. Here we go. F ability. First commandment. Oh, yeah, ability. Free stuff. Prevent all special, like those extra effects. This energy discards poisons. Done to this. It, I think this could be useless most of the time, but sometimes, hey, it might work. You know, that happens. That happens. Not gonna be that great. Uh, still, moving on. 160 points. Yeah, they all have that. Uh, Prism Star. Let's see. Trinity Star. I'm sorry. One energy, 30 damage, and you can't use it unless you have a grass, water, and lightning Pokemon. So basically, if you're using one of those decks, you can squeeze in C for grass. This is probably the worst one. Celebi. Celebi. The special one. The special different color one. My brain's not working, but you can put Celebi that allows you to use your previous attacks if you're not using a grass deck. That's one. Water deck, Octillery, Sushi Master, easy. Lightning, Tapu Koko, or if you're using a lightning deck, yeah. So those are probably the big three. 30 damage is light, choice man 60, but this bar. You have to look for three basic energies, put them straight to your Pokemon. It looks like it can live maybe two turns, at least a turn though. Three energies is big. Six energies over two turns is half your deck already on your Pokemon. So, it's a lot of energy acceleration. The best deck it fits right now is Tapu Bulu, but it can go for any of those decks. So, uh, yeah, it kills up some of your bench space with three Pokemons taking up their junk. Um, you know, so you definitely want to be using one of the, those Pokemons. You're gonna have two left at least, and they might be Lele's, yeah, and all that stuff. So it's got potential, it's got a niche, but that requirement makes me want to put it a, a, a three. Yeah, but no, no, you really have. I'm gonna have fun doing it, but I don't think it's gonna be a staple. So moving on there, we got the Aqua Patch for that. Uh, let's see, what's new? We already have all these Beast Ring. If your opponent has knocked out one of your GX Pokemons, and that, during that time, you look for two basic energies from your deck, where the you know the best spot for them to be in at the start of the game. You show them that I'm not cheating and put them to one of your Ultra Beasts. That's like Buzzwall. That's like well, any any GX Pokemons, Necrozma, Dawn Wings. This is really really good for basics. The problem is at the start of the game you can't use it. You're like, please take one of my GX Pokemon so I can activate this. So there are going to be points where this thing's useless. That's the bad part. But when it is working, it is like a 5. It's a 5 when the condition can activate. But over the game, you know, there's going to be parts worth dead weight. <sighs> I'm not going to put too much into this because reliably is the big thing I think it will go however be in probably most your uh, it would go into any ultra beast deck I'll give it a four for now but the part where it can be a dead weight just don't want me to give it a five in fact I may not even use it I'm gonna give it a four for now be safe I think uh, it might be something that you put a few of into every deck so uh, every ultra beast deck that reliably this condition might be limiting. So, moving on, Steel Frying Pan! <laughs> Makes you think of a certain scandal with a uh, player unknown. Alright, we have a Frying Pan, even in Pokemon now. Here we go, you put onto your Steel Pokemon, they take 30 less damage and no weakness. Yeah, I'll put a few of my Steel Decks. It's got a niche. I'd probably put in all, one in all my Steel Decks. Four. Yeah, if it's fire, great! Great value! 30 less damage. Certain, uh, let's see, certain Sogaleos and uh, Dawnwing, they do so much damage, they don't even need a choice man, so. Yeah, there are a lot of Pokemons like that on my side. Yeah, I'll, Mega Scissors, I'll pick you up with this. Four, it's gonna go into my decks. So yeah, it's gonna go thanks. So with the Beast Rings and certain, the, one, the ones that matters. All right, few more left, Ultra Recon Squad Supporter. Discard two Ultra Beasts. 
maybe there might be a very twisted way to play Naga Nadel, but you then draw for three cards for every discard Ultra Beast. So one, uh, three cards. That's worse than the how? Two! <gasps> Ooh! Six cards, and you lose two Ultra Beasts, which you might not play. So it would really change the way you make up your deck engine. It may, you know, make a full no auxiliary, a full Naga Nadel deck work. Now your draw is your Pokemon. Weird! I'll have to experiment. So we're gonna leave this between it's between absolutely useless and it might have some work. Or actually, yeah, I can't tell. I need I need to more we won't write this yet. We need to find out if it actually works. But I feel like I may not even see play for a while unless you know it might unless it just happens to be the one so we play Nugget Adele. So that's why we need more testing. Wake! Here we go! Discard two water energies! Ouch! 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 But then you can get the, say, two Aqua Patches and put them onto your Pokemon. Reliability issue. You might be holding this card, you're not holding two Water Energies. You must be holding two Water Energies. And those two Water Energies, I gotta play them! Uh, with the current deck, you couldn't just toss one or two in your deck. You have to really do something to make Wake work. You might need Starmie. You might need uh, Rabombi, you might need Professor Slatter, and you lose two water energy, so, hmm. It might have a niche, and then you might never ever see this. So between, we'll give it a three for now because that effect is powerful. You get to look for two of anything, anything you want. It's like a double computer search. So, but you have to set it up, you have to build a deck specifically to meet the, this, to get water energies, two water energies in your hand. And you need at least one to put on your Pokemon too, so three a lot of energies. You'll see that very specific, and it could be dead weight if you're not prepared for it. So you might only have like one or two wakes. So we'll... It's hard to write this. It's between a two and a three. Two between useless and three, I was like, I might make it work with the right deck. Leaving it there. Ultra Space Stadium! Once during your turn, you can find Ultra Beast and put it into your deck. Um, put it into your hand. So that combos with ah uh, that that uh, sorry those guys, yeah. That, now that makes it much more reliable to do that. Now, now you have to burn, destroy Ultra Beasts and, and make them your draw stuff. Could it work? That's why. That's why we we want to play test that. We don't build the deck all around that. So yeah, now you can just throw Buzzwall, Buzzwall. Not gonna know. Definitely, it's definitely this whole expansion here is for uh, these cards where we're not gonna know only. So Prism Star. Energy Beast Prisms Energy Prism Star Ultra Beast Energy pretty much only works on Ultra Beast Oh well, only has a special effect it provides uh, one of a uh, colors energy uh, But if it's to an Ultra Beast Rainbow Energy 30 more damage Hey, so it's like a extra choice man for one of your Yeah, one of your Pokemon's Ultra Beast That's gonna help them get KOs It goes into every deck playing an Ultra Beast this is a five this is definitely a five there, because it goes into all the one, and with certainty too. You're not like, oh, I'm not sure, maybe. This is definitely a five. And then you get your unit energies again. We already have those. I think that's it. Then you get the, all right, we're done. How long have been talking? Holy cow, that's an hour. Yeah, we, yeah. So, how overall, I hope it's expansion. Well, it's just like other expansions. They're really fun cards. They're, you know, fun ones that look fun to play. One that you know isn't competitive, but cool like to run at them uh, it's I don't know I don't know it uh, looks pretty uh, it'll be interesting there are a lot of good ones in here and there are a lot of staples that you want to upgrade your deck with so yeah we we'll have a good time next week so this is it for now in a gross of Frenchals. funny how we start on the end of the song huh all right thank you in a gross of Frenchals. you guys take it easy stay safe I'll see you guys next time yeah all right thank you bye bye